Hey, what's up everyone? This is DC SG81 and today we are looking to the comparison uh, review for all the Captain America from SH Figuarts. Okay, so these are all the Captain Americas that has been released by SH Figuarts. So um, let's take a look at the far left here is actually the Captain America from Age of Ultron and then this is the Captain America from Civil War, um, Infinity War as well as the latest Avengers Endgame, okay? Okay, so I have put them closer to the screen so you can have a better view and um, let's take a look at the overall first before I go into uh, each one of them. So this is um, the scale. I think they are actually uh, the same um, scale overall. Maybe the body shape is, uh, the body mold is uh, different. Um, two of these will be the same and I think this, these two will be the same as well. Okay, so but in terms of height, I think they are all the uh, same height. So I'll change another view for you now. Okay, so from the side view, Probably you will see they are, uh, have a clearer look on their scale. From the shoulder wise, you can see they are actually pretty much the same. So it's only the head because this one have uh, uh, the Infinity War Captain America only comes with the Amas head. So he could be slightly bigger, I mean taller. Um, and of course, this is not the original head. It's a uh, head from the Flashback Studio or Manipos. Uh, I'll show you the original head later. So, um, yep, so it's pretty much the same scale as I mentioned just now. So let's change into another view. Okay, so from the back view, I also like to call it the American S view. <laughs> so you can see that uh, they are pretty much the same. These two having the smaller S and these two having the wider S, okay? <laughs> yeah, because they are actually, like I mentioned earlier, these two is have, uh, the same body mold and this one is also the same body mold. So uh, what is different is you can see this cap, this cap, and this cap, they all have a hole. Actually, they have a tiny things to slot in the hole, but I took it up because I used the shield to put on behind and they need the this hole pack, I mean this hole for the pack to go in to hold the shield. So it's very, very tiny piece, so make sure you keep it well and don't lose it. Since this one is, I just took it right out of the box. That's why it's still having the packs there, I haven't taken it out. And this Infinity War doesn't have anything like that because he doesn't come with any shield. He only comes with a spear which is not even his weapon. <laughs> so yep, so the difference is just this, okay? So let's take a look at the front view again. Okay, so I removed the Captain America from Infinity War because that's the one that is without the mask head because I'm going through the head first. So we can see here we have the far left is actually from the Age of Ultron, then, then the middle one is from Civil War, then goes to the right one is from the uh, Avenger Endgame, which is the latest one. So let's take a look at the one from the Age of Ultron. As you can see um, from, from what I can tell, he doesn't really look much like Chris Evans. Um, <laughs> this is just my opinion. Yeah. So, and then the middle one, which is the Age of Ultron, I think he, he looks like a stone version of uh, Chris Evans here. Yeah, and then the next one is, of course, the one from the latest one, uh, the Endgame, which I think it bear the most likeness of the uh, Chris Evans, actually look very much like him. But this is also the one with the worst skin tone among the three, because you can see he looks very very pale as compared to the rest of the two which i think the best one to have the uh, most natural skin tone is actually the one from um civil war yeah you can see the skin tone is much more natural and the one from uh age of Ultron is also slightly pale but it's not as bad as the one from the end game okay now from the side view of the helmet um the head uh, you can see the far left is actually from the uh, Age of Ultron. It looks uh, pretty uh, simple head. I mean the design is pretty simple. For the Civil War one, it does have a little bit more details over here. You can see there's uh, some details uh, 
some lining and also you can see there's a uh, some um, patterns here so uh, it should uh, looks better even the ears also uh, looking a bit little little bit more realistic and of course the far right one is from the end game which uh, have a different design in terms you can see there's a brown uh, area compared to the blue yeah and right now that uh, I've actually put them side by side uh, it seems that the uh, the end game one is tad bit taller than the rest uh, which I didn't notice earlier so I apologize for that so it seems that the one from the newer mode is actually slightly taller I'll do a comparison again together with the uh, Infinity War Captain America okay so this is the one that is from the original SH figures uh, I must say for the uh, Captain America from Infinity War so as you can see it looks very very bad so which is why I, I couldn't bear a second look on him I have to get the one from uh, the Maniple which is a lot a uh, much 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 more better than this one it's actually looking like this is the uh, original and this is like a bootleg <laughs> yeah so this is this isn't a bootleg it's just a third party but it's looking very very good compared to this original one yeah okay so now we'll take a look at the uh, body portion of each of the cap you can see each and every one of them is actually having a slightly different design so for the uh, I think the most noticeable difference is the one from the edge of Ultron you can see that it actually have some red linings uh, as compared to the rest which it doesn't have and I actually doesn't like it at first but now I, it, it seems that the more I look at it it, oh, it really bring down the best look amongst the, the rest this one is uh, slightly more you know uh, like nothing much difference yeah it's just like a I mean this one actually you know you just bring your attention to this okay but this infinity one actually looks very very good as well because it has some of the dirt look you know it's like a fallen captain america and the, the he also removed the star from it so he doesn't have the signature star and also the white parts that you see very clean is like a very dark now it's like he's been uh, somewhere uh, living in the dirt you know <laughs> yeah so it's like a fallen Captain America I really dig this one and uh, for this one it's actually he's back to like back to his glory the star is back and he also have the uh, someone told me it's actually the scale version of the armor you can see the the scale uh, patterns on the uh, around the star is actually looking very good when it, there's a light uh, reflected off the you can see from here actually now it's actually looking very good with the correct lighting and also the white it doesn't look as white like this one yeah still bring a little bit of darkness but it, it's looking very very good and then if you look at the uh, body proportion these two actually looks uh, pretty odd I would say because his chest is slightly bigger than the waist is he's looking like how should i put it uh it doesn't look very proportionate as a normal human being you can see that the you know, chest is like wider and it suddenly gets like very straight down slim you know yeah but this one actually improved it a lot you can see it, it doesn't like you know the fat uh chest and then goes straight down slim actually looks very more natural pretty much more natural and this one because I, I mentioned earlier it's the same mold I believe and just that the design is different you also uh, bear the resemblance of this one which is very good you can see it looks much more natural like a normal human body and if you don't see that yet um, you can actually look at the leg portion you can see the older mold actually have a very very skinny leg can see, I think this one is the most obvious you can see and these two you can see is having a more natural types of uh, legs um, compared to the older moles I will show you uh, in uh, further so you can see better so I'll take these two examples so do you see now just concentrate on the tight you can see this one is skinny and the body you see it's very fat 
very broad and then the skinny and then the skinny leg but for this one it's more well-rounded and the legs is looking much more better so as I mentioned earlier, um, let's take a closer look at the side view again and it also uh, seems like uh, what I say is correct the, the two uh, newer mold this seems to be a tad bit taller than the older molds but if you are looking from the front, it doesn't really seem so somehow yep. Oh, and I just noticed this tree actually have the Avengers and this one doesn't so it also shows that this cap is actually um, exiled from the Avenger uh, after the uh, Civil War. He actually something like uh, he isolate himself so that's why he doesn't have all the Avengers and even the star is no longer there. Okay and before I forgot uh, I just noticed one difference uh, among the these two mole and these two mole is on the shoulder pad. You can see this one actually have the uh, uh, extra articulation where you can actually when you're posing the arms you need to actually be very careful that uh, there's a articulation part for the uh, pad but for these two it, it doesn't have any it just stick to the arms so uh, for me I actually prefer this because I don't have to worry about breaking up the, this uh, shoulder pad okay okay so right up next I will compare with all the accessories so you can actually have a look um, for I will actually do a comparison between this this and this first because this tree is actually having uh, a very very similar sets of uh, uh, accessories so we will take a look into the hands first each uh, the three of them actually they comes with a pair of fist hands which I'm not showing here because uh, they are all having a pair of fist hands a pair of shield throwing hands a pair of relaxed hands that you can see here and also a pair of uh, shield grabbing hands which I have once that I'm showing you the reason why I'm showing you is because each of them actually looks pretty different you can see this one is actually from this Age of Ultron it's having a silver handle and the one from Civil War is uh, a little bit of a brown color okay and the one from the latest Avenger M games is also quite similar to the one from Civil War. Okay. And then we have this piece here is for the back uh, to hold the shield at his back. So uh, for the uh, uh, Age of Ultron is actually on a silver again which looks pretty good. But the one from Civil War is goes to the brown. Uh, actually it doesn't matter because <laughs> it will be hidden by the shield anyway. So and the one from the end game actually looks very good as well. Looks like a real metal. Okay. And then they also have the effects of throwing, you know, when he throws the shield. So they all come with the same thing. But uh for the civil wall, uh, sorry, the age of Ultron actually is all just a transparent piece of plastic. While the ones from the uh civil wall actually have a brown part here. Um yep. And the one from the uh, Avenger Endgame is also very similar to the one from the uh, Civil War. Okay, so um, <clears throat> the only difference for this Infinity War cap is he just have the relaxed hand, the fisted hand, and also a pair of hands to hold this spear. Yep. So he doesn't come with any shield. That's why he don't have the. Uh, this this set of hands to hold the shield he comes with this one instead so i know the very next question is you want to know whether this hand actually can be fit on the, the avenger end game so he can hold tall hammer i will try it out and show you guys later okay so now let's go to the shield okay for the captain america shield from uh age of ultron as well as the civil war um i think you can see the difference now is the uh, the star they have some linings but the one from the uh, civil war doesn't have anything but their, their pain i think is very very similar so now let's compare to the one from the avenger endgame because these two are pretty much the same but from the pain you can see that uh, as i mentioned in my review earlier this one is having the very matte finishing paint which I dig a lot 
you can actually see it's looking very very good but this one as time goes by it actually is kind of like you know you can see the paint is like starting to fade off and i do have some paint chip here as well but this one looks very good it doesn't look like it will you know be the same like this i'm not sure maybe a few months down the road it will end up like this as well but this is currently looking very very good okay and uh, i'm sure you don't want me to go through this piece of spear uh, to me it's useless pretty much okay so now i think you all want to go into the head so this is the one that i think a lot of people when they get this captain america they wanted this head which is the screaming head it looks very very good yep and then we have the civil war it comes with an amass head which i think it looks um pretty decent compared to the uh, infinity war which is very very bad i don't know why they just end up from this to this okay so yeah so this is actually looking very very good okay and then lastly we have the one from avenger endgame which is like many of you say it's just a lazy job just paint his eye looking to the right yeah nothing much and this um age of ultron head is actually pretty interesting because he actually comes with a set of eyes which looks pretty disturbing to me okay it's actually the eyes looking to the left so now let's see how do we do this is i have not actually uh tried it before it's my first time let's see so i believe yep just pull this out okay this one is actually pretty interesting because it's not looking straight it's actually looking to the right and this is actually looking to the left let's see yep pretty good okay so i'm not sure why they are not continuing with this at least we will have this head looking to any side that we want okay so i think um not sure if this works as well let's see okay oh good so it does so this cap actually comes with three set of eyes which is looking straight looking left and looking right oh my god this is good yeah okay so now you can see okay so this cap is really worth getting at least you get a set of eyes that can look i mean three set of eyes that can look into three directions with two head which is equally good and this is not something lazy like the latest Avenger Endgame, which is just painted to the right. Uh, I'm not sure why they don't want to continue doing this one. Okay. Okay, so now uh, let's proceed to the next section. Okay, so I almost forgot there's an important part of here is if you remember clearly, <laughs> the one, the uh, Captain America from the Age of Ultron his um, shield is actually magnetized to his hand so you can see at the back it's actually very very different as well yeah so that explains why the hand holding is actually a silver color compared to the one that is the silver war as well as the end game is actually brown color so this one is a special one because it, it magnetized straight to his arm in the movie okay so i believe from what you can see here you already know what i will be doing next yep so it's your favorite head swapping section now okay so you can see that i have removed all the necks because i'm not going to try with the head because it will be uh most of the time it doesn't work so it goes together with the neck and because i have to these two figures are new 
I have a hard time removing. You can see my hand is shaking now. It's so painful. I actually had to use the my method, the blue tag method, to wrap around it and pull. This one came off pretty easy, but the one from the uh, Age of Ultron took me a long time. I almost gave up until it came off finally. Okay, so um, let's try. So you can see each one of them actually comes with a different head. This is pretty good because it comes with a. Uh, uh, entirely different neck for the Amas head and this of course I uh, won't be uh, using the ugly head I'll be using this one and I also believe this is the one that you guys want to see most so I'll leave the best for the last so let's try with this one because I think a lot of you actually interested to have a screaming head for this body so, but I will try with the Civil War one first um, okay uh, Let's see. Okay, I'm not going to push all the way in, but I believe it will work because, as I mentioned earlier, the body mold is the same. And I believe if I use a little bit more force, it will go in. But then again, I will have a hard time to remove again. So I won't be doing that. So let's compare the, the ball joint. The neck joint is actually very similar in terms of size. So I believe it will work for the uh, Age of Ultron as well as the Civil War one. Okay, so let's try with the uh, Infinity War having this head. Which I think, yep, it will work but it wouldn't hold because the joint is very, the ball joint is very much smaller. As you can see, so it does go in and maybe with some blue text it will work. Okay. So if I'm not mistaken, these two will be similar. It should work as well. Yep. So it will be pretty loose. With some blue tag, it will hold it. And in terms of the, the paint, it's actually looking pretty similar in terms of the blue. So you can't really tell whether it's a different head altogether. But for, oops. <sighs> Sorry about that. For me, it just looks like uh, the head is slightly smaller. I'm not sure. Let's do a comparison side by side. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not sure if it shows on the camera. It just seems that this Age of Ultron head is a little bit smaller, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it does look a bit more smaller than this head. That's why it oh sorry about that. That's why it does look uh small. But um I'm not sure. It might not look very obvious. Yeah, so it does work, okay. And let's go for the next one, the silver war one. I believe the one that you guys are interested in is the one that is unmasked. So let's try on this one and again I believe it should work if I push it a little bit harder it should go in. So, uh, but I don't do that. <laughs> so for the uh, same thing, for the silver wall, it's uh, very loose. But if you put some blue tag, it should work as well. Okay. And uh, the painting wise is very matching. So don't worry about a uh, different tone of the uh, uniform. And for this same thing, it will work as well. Okay. So, so far so good, it seems to be interchangeable but just that you need to have some uh, blue tag for the older mold to fit on the new body. So let's try now with the uh, the uh, uh, end game one on the older body which uh, doesn't work because the ball joint for the newer body is smaller and the older body one is bigger so it doesn't really go in okay I think it's the same for this one so you can forget about it to fit on it and also I don't see any reason for you to fit uh, the newer head on the older body as well okay so now the head that everyone has been waiting for so let's try uh, actually I made a video for the comparison between these two okay you can see the link right now i actually tried to put in before if i'm not mistaken you can check out the video but again i'll try it for you guys 
So uh, like I mentioned earlier, it shouldn't work because of the smaller ball joint. But in my video, I believe I just try on the head with the original neck. It does work a little bit, I'll show you guys later. But now, I think you guys want to see this head on this Avenger Endgame body. So let's try. Um, voila. So the next does go in. I hope I can take it out easy. Yep. It goes in. Wow. It's like it's meant for it. See? See? You even have the clipping sound. Wow. Okay. So, yep. Looking very, very good. Wow. Okay. So I might actually need to have another hit of this. Needs to put uh for both. Yeah. So it's looking very very good. My god, I might stick with this head after all. <laughs> okay. So your answer your question is answered. It looks it fits perfectly. And let's try with the neck. Um okay, what I will do is I'll fit the head the neck back to the original body. Ah, okay, so it's very hard. That's why I have a hard time to take it off earlier. So you can see it fits very very good as well. Okay. Yep. Perfect. So guys, here's your answer. This head basically can fit into any of the body, but with their original neck, not with the neck that comes with it. Okay. So it does look very good, but I'm actually digging this one. Wow, okay, it's looking very very good now. Okay. I think Chris will agree with me as well. <laughs> okay, so um I'm actually waiting for the manipals or uh, the flashback studio to come with the one that he's not having his uh, mustache. So I think I'm hoping, finger crossed, that it will fit as well as this one. So that then I will have the infinity wall with this head and that one will be having the the clean shave head and mask head. I mean Yep. So there it goes guys. It's working very very good. So uh there's one more section that I believe you guys want to have a look. So let's move on. Okay, so the next one will be exchanging the hands from the Infinity War to the one from the uh, Endgame. So let's take a look. Okay, let's see when it works. I'm hoping it would. Yep. So it, it doesn't really fit perfectly. How do I tell is that, you know, when you put in the right hands, it will have the clicking sound, but this one doesn't. But it holds pretty well. And it scale pretty well as well. It doesn't look like a big hand on a tiny arm, those kind of things. So yeah, so I have the uh, tall hammer right here. I need to get off the tall arm first. Okay, sorry, I mean tall hands. So let's see. This is the moment. Um, it shouldn't fit as well because. This hand is for holding up. Oh, sorry, this hand is actually for holding the spear, which is a uh, tiny more tinier than this handle. So that's why it's having some problem just now. But it does hold it in the end. So let's see. Yay! Okay. Good. Okay. So now I do have a hand. <laughs> To hold the hammer. Okay, so this is actually a, uh, what was told to me by uh, some of you guys. A uh, very useful information to ask me to use this hand instead. So, yep, uh, thank you very much for sharing this piece of information. It fits perfectly like what you say. Yep, so again, uh, you see, all this kind of information is actually very helpful for me 
So I really, uh, I mean, when you tell me something, I, uh, if I think that is valid, I will actually try it out and show it to you guys. So yeah, feel free to give me more information. If you want me to try anything at all that you think it should work or you, you're not sure, of course, I will do it for you guys to have a look. Yeah, this is what my channel is for, right? Yep, so yeah, so it does fit very well. Uh, so you guys don't have to worry about finding a hand to hold the hammer. Yep, and uh, as for the head, I'm very happy to tell you guys that it's actually very <laughs> good in interchanging. Uh, if you have uh, four of them or a few of them. And a uh, maniple head fits perfectly into the new uh, endgame body. I'll show it to you guys again because... I just love it, okay? <laughs> so yep, it's actually looking very very good, okay? So that's all for my comparison review. Again, I'm sorry that it's dragging too long. Uh, as you can see, I'm not wasting any minutes uh, trying all this for you guys. I hope you enjoy the video and uh, click the like button. Uh, to give me some support if you like this kind of video and uh, of course like I said earlier feel free to leave me any comments or any more suggestion that you like to see on my future video and again subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so because I have new video interesting video like this in uh, many more to come I, I'm I guarantee you <laughs> yeah the next one should be my comparison for mark 50 uh the one that is uh, original from infinity war as well as the one from the nano weapon set that i reviewed yesterday okay so yeah that's all again i'm happy and thank you for your support and i'll talk to you soon bye